Um, there are things that happen at this school that will not happen at other schools that make LCCPS the place that my daughter wants to be. I hear you talk about you want to see changes, you want to see something done that would make you feel that this school can continue. Well, I don't hear what that is. And that's what worries me as a parent. So we're all here tonight, there's so many of us. Tell us what we need to do. Not only the teachers, not only the board, but the parents as well. We are a huge resource and an asset to the school and the community. Use us. Tell us what we need to do to save the school that we so much love. Hi, my name is Kathy Loisel. My son Andrew is in seventh grade, and we've been here since kindergarten. Andrew is in um, the gifted and talented program that Ms. Reeve runs. I believe that their scores are phenomenal for um, MCAS. And then every year they do a program where everyone who has done well in their proficient or above, they do have an award night here. Um, all I can say is this school for me and my son is as close to a private education as we can get. My name is Maria Nash. My daughter's name is Kira Nash. She's been going to this school since kindergarten. She is in the fifth grade. She is also in the gifted and talented program. She scored a perfect score on her math MCAS two years in a row. She scored advanced proficient in her English. She loves the deer. And when she goes to public school next year, she's going to be disserviced. She's not going to get the education that she would receive here. And that's heartbreaking. Because it's like we are families. Like we have problems with our homework, I can easily call this. The teacher's cell phone, and she'll help me out. That's, it's like a family. And we, like I, I came from Africa, and we believe so much in education. We can fix it. There is nothing that, you know, the, that's happening that we cannot fix as a group and as a family. Why? Because disrupting their year to go to another school and which school in law will absorb almost 900 student body here in law. If you're concerned about math and science grades and reading levels, closing the school isn't the answer. We all need, as a community, as a family, to come together and find solutions to these problems. You're only passing on the problem to other schools and other communities. As you can see tonight, many communities are represented here. Many diverse group of families are represented here tonight. So closing down the school is not the answer. If kids aren't doing well, they're going to move on to another school, and guess what? They're not going to do well in that school. And in his class, he's number one in math. Um, if you want to talk numbers. My daughter is in the gifted and talented program. She's done advanced in all her classes, in her tests as MCAS. So when you talk about tests, I see them, but I can't really relate to it because my children do great. So why the rush? Give us some time, give us the guidelines. Certainly these students will come up to your desired level. You have said here at the meeting that you felt that the Board of Trustees had a track record for poor administration, that they, they, there was problems with the administration and problems with our programs, that you had no confidence in, in their abilities for governance at the school. You then you said that you had an understanding that we were looking at maybe doing a management company and you were glad for the conversation. My question is this. The Board of Trust, if, as was the case at the Board of Trustees meeting, they voted nine to nothing that we should and that we will hire a management company, then if you change your mind, if you change your recommendation and the, the charter is renewed, then we will have a different governance structure within the school that is direct with teachers, that will be data-driven, that will change the academics. We won't just change some textbooks, we won't just change some personnel, as you said as well, after you were glad for the conversation. We have had dramatic change. We have accepted the resignation of our executive director. There has been a decision for a wholesale change in the board, although it will be over a staggered process because of the legalities of having had members of the board. The school has already altered its curriculum. 
by changing um, two days a week, adding intensive MCAS study prep. We will get more altered curriculums through direct intervention with a management company come March 1st or whenever it is we're allowed to hire that company. Is this not transformational change? 